Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to our annual playthrough of Dark Descent. Let's just get this over with, huh? We're playing with Florian's remaster, you can download it in the description below. <laughs> a lot closer to be than I thought. Who's... Ah. Get some snacks, get cozy, we're gonna play nice and under For the most part. Oh no. no, stop it. You need a thing. Yikes. Something large brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help! He cried as the ocean swallowed him again. I am so scared. The wall is pulsating. He feels himself being hoisted out of the ocean. The lock and hull of SS Hortensia glittered in the soothing warm yellow light of a shutting sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean, reaching towards the coast of Portugal and thought, Is this another dream? Sorry. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Yes, I've changed the music. Forgive me. It's good to mix it up every now and then, though. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction.
Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Find the key that unlocks the door to lead into the machine room. Two stories last this time. New we'll quest room. He climbed out a bit and looked out of the window. It was completely dark. He waited, glanced at the old clock, and waited some more. Four o'clock, he thought. It's enough. Enough for what? Mm. Do 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 do. These loading screens are quite loud. Oh, that music's loud. My channel is gone. What would they want with my channel? Second of July, 1839. That one doesn't fit in that one. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. I mean, to be fair, they left quite a lot of things in the tent. That's really loud. <laughs> Oops, sue me. Shiny on the clock, look at that. Oh wow. Everything looks so chocolatey smooth. Oof, I love it. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> Tweet. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? How did he write about that happening? Because that literally doesn't happen. Herbert sees the surface, but through the eyes of Abdullah. That's what I mean, Rebirth, like, fucks up a lot of things. <laughs> Just gets the law straight wrong. Oops. The key. Please, let it be here. Did it. Oh, thank God, there it is. <sighs> I guess it is a good place to hide it then. I love his voice, actually. 4th of July, 
1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Hmm. Oh. What? <laughs> he was like, okay, I guess I'll leave. Oh. That was gonna be a, a whole bit. The first assembly was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. <laughs> okay. I hope the game doesn't crash, I just did something. Something else was supposed to happen, and it didn't. Kinda confused me. He flipped through the Book of Monarchies, looking for writings and counted. Nine different kings from all over E-Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Yeah, I changed the Terrameter as well. It's supposed to be Rebirth and Bunker's Terrameter, but... Maybe it was- I put it to mono, instead of stereo. So maybe it was like, actually really really similar and I didn't notice. Because <laughs> I don't know why it wouldn't have changed. Hmm. We'll see. We'll toy around with some grunty boys. And storage. I could try and risk some things. Maybe it won't be a good idea though. Now if I had to pick a favourite map from Dark Descends, study would be up there. The phenomenograph. Portal 2 ARG. Fucking huge. What's a valve gonna cook up for the next one? I wonder. A letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weil. The most remarkable thing happened as I was travelling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for the last 20 odd years. As it is as inexplicable as the heliodromers described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was told about, an, un an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged, its colour washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trials, when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. 
As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to find these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. This beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine, where I stumbled upon some men fishing, <laughs> sorry, fishing in a lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo throughout the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colours of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I passed on through the drenched lands, the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance as I joined it, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade of, since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. This summer? The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Oldstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Ogdepa. Let's just have a little sit down, shall we? I'm gonna run it around a little bit. Hmm. It's pitch black for me, I can't see anything. <laughs> Sound effects. Let's see what you have to offer. <coughs> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. Bro, I just had a rebirth and bunker moment. I was like, why is my body not pushing this off the table? Will this not interact with the with the player's hitbox? I'm so used to rebirth to Tazzy and Henri being really fucking heavy and just bumping into everything. No. He doesn't do it. Canius Lupus Familiaris, 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with calm. I believe that the catalyst is produced- Fuck, I can't say that with a straight face. I have such a bad straight face. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy, since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. There won't be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Such fucking good writing. Just really well written. Mikkel Hedberg. Well, I love this man. Hello. Oh. Shiny. Whoa. See something cool? Watch this. I have a really cool thing. 
that I did back in 2013, and I'll do it in 2024, goddammit. Boop. Oh. Some things mustn't be forgotten. Okay, never mind, it's just clearly not how it's supposed to go. Life has other plans. Come on. Behave. Never mind. Sixteen fifty eight, January ninth. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power essence within it. I shall pursue more books on this subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no more research since no research has been done since no research has been made in particular I'm gay. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans don't need more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. The thing is, massive twat, Alexander, you know what this all is. You were the one who suggested the flower of Emmerich. Oh god. You were the one that refined the process of torture for everybody. Maybe he was exiled before he even knew what they were doing, though. Hmm. That's a good point. I wonder what we have to do now. Hey, dog. You're gonna be useful. <laughs> Wait! Maybe it wasn't working because... There is a true chosen one. Maybe I'm saving mine too. Okay, you ready for this? I believe. I believe. Hey, you can't escape your fight. <laughs> He's going to die in that fire. So many subtle new sound effects. Florian. I love Florian. Florian's so fucking cool. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Wow. It's because you're blue. Sorry, Alexander. Out of a tool machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. Meters should read up, eight, and down eight. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions, four phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Ah! Alexander's grandma. Look at these. Elevator renovation lines. Dot dot dot. Elevator schematics. Using steam power for elevation. Chamber controller. Emergency decelerator. Like a little fart. I wonder if you get the um, memento even if you don't need it. No. See, they're clever. So many flies. Hmm. 
He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The Madaisian cabinet had been overturned and like collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Okay, let's go into the storage. Oh god. Hey, who is this? Daniel? Hi! Will Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from Bel Air the other day cast such a terrible shadow. The license plates said fresh and there were dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say that this gap was rare, but I thought I'd forget it. Let's go home. To storage. Jesus fucking Christ. That's so much worse. The darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. I thought good Nico just used the terror meter from Dark Descent and turned it into this. That screeching just feels like the terror meter. It has the same like lapses and jumps. It's very similarly timed. I could just ask him, I mean <laughs> we still tour. We still have music coming out. 2024, 2025, whenever it gets finished. I have a lot of projects I'm working on. Sorry, kids. You'll have to wait for your bald boys to release more music soon. I've prepared the explosives you needed for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your featherbrain servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosives and should be kept separate to avoid further mishaps. I've arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you are ready to go. I'll get back. Awful, awful noise. Spoons. Sir?
away. Kevin is hindering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. Okay. I was kind of hoping it would have chased me down there. We would have had a fun moment out of it. Portiali filppo. Explosive! <laughs> 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 with a big box like that. <laughs> I'll show you. Still scares me. Oh. This music works so well. Throw fucking bread at his face. Am I brave enough to do it today? Bread attack. There's no terminator.
Oh, there's no terror meter. We need to fix that. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. If a full set of three runs isn't available, there is one already need a study rooms which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it is absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. Okay. Sean Mendes? <laughs> no, not Sean Mendes! <laughs> Don't see me through the crack in the door. Good boy. Oh. Florian? Is a call from a young woman's dress. Coming back. I'm paranoid. Okay. Why do I make me paranoid for real? Fuck that. Why isn't the music stopping? That just happened. <laughs> Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. <laughs> Me, when I saw the parasol Rebirth. Oh my god. He panted heavily, trying his best to reread this. The strange letter was strange, but it was the only one that offered comfort. Whatever. <laughs> I was trying to remember the note that I couldn't read because the audio was too loud from the chase. I'm surprised we didn't get hit. Yes, I replaced more music. Look, I replaced a lot of music, okay? And some puzzle sounds. But I think we moved past a couple. I know. Stop triannoning me. 5th of July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. 
I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. I'll be sitting there on my deathbed, surrounded by my, by my friends and family. My memory completely lapsing. Sir, do you know your son's name? No. What about your wife or husband's maiden name? No. What about... What do you remember? Down, up, up, down, down. That's me dying. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia, he said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. Jesus the last Christ. few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Pull down your... Machine equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in storage for elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged, and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. The inner study? Trinity. Amplitude. Here we go. Hey. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. You're a little tangent. Yeah, you do. So I um, watch a Skyrim YouTuber called Redshift. He makes a lot of Skyrim mod recommendation videos and that's about it. Um, and he had a gamer subs code. Now, I tried Sneak Energy. It was like a free trial of that years ago. 2020, I believe. And, um, Gamer Saps is one of these other ones, like a G Fuel type thing. And, uh, mate, I've never seen, like, marketing and products more fucking juvenile than my life. They literally have, like, hentai cups and shakers, which is fucking pathetic. Like, I know they're playing to the meme, but it's just really fucking sad. Hey, come on, how old are you, huh? Shadow didn't like that, or the Guardian didn't like that. You're supposed to be the parent or Guardian. I'm not supposed to let kids order this shit. Yeah, so fucking juvenile. Like, I literally, I, I got, um, free samples delivered from his promo code. Because, like, why not? Like, 
remember, one of them is literally like a hentai babe on the cover, and I'm like, bro, I don't want to drink this. Filthy Japanese sweatshop, sweatshop laborer sweat drink, you know? Ugh. Pass. I siphon my sweat directly from the ladies I see. I'm not gonna have some Japanese stuff. What is this tangent? Never mind. I forget I've said anything. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. well there's more to him than meets the eye. Ball. Hi, boys. Let's go. Two. Three. A strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Whose hand is that? Looks like a. Starts with M. Transept. <laughs> transept does not start with M. I want to say transept body. And a morgue. A sewer. Stop. It's not my birthday anymore. You can't do birthday beats. Apt timing. It's literally not my birthday anymore. <laughs> Well, it won't be in like two and a half hours. of playing this game, I've never seen that happen. <laughs> we're just... <laughs> we're still going. Wait. Oh. Really? because I didn't think it would be a thing. I thought maybe, oh, Floria just extended the elevator ride. So we get us to the sound design. But, uh, no. Just the bridge. It's still broken. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, fuck. Which 
Which one do we go in? Is it north? It's south, right? Do I lose all my inventory? <laughs> Never seen this bug before. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. Am I as much of an amnesia pro as I say I am? Do I remember which entrance we come in? I always get them mixed up. That scared me. Apparently, no, I don't get them mixed up. I know my shit. Why did I doubt myself? I've played this game for like a b babillion hours. Yes, a babillion. Come this way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. No, I do have not any of my items. Oh no. Do I need any of it to progress? Yes, I need literally all of it. <laughs> okay, fuck. <laughs> I'll come back when I fix this. Unless I don't manage to fix it. God, I'm so fucking glad my friends are nerds. I just immediately messaged one of them and he's told me what the issue is. When Lewis did a bunch of his tinkering to fuck up the engine even more, dozy bitch, he fucked up a couple of callbacks for the maps. So I'm going to need to change some stuff. Probably reverb my files or whatever, I don't know. Florian doesn't update the remaster anymore. Hasn't for years, so... Fuck. Right, I'll get this all sorted, I just have to change a couple HPS files. And just edit some scripting. <laughs> so, oh, can I show this? Yes. Yeah, I can show this, it's fine. Um, so these are the things I need to change in this fucking these uh, folders. Boop. Let's do this together. Because, uh, why not? We might as well keep prison in the rest of the episode. In the, in the next episode, actually. Um, so. Thanks, Lewis. He didn't fix the callbacks with the thing. I'm not going to pretend that I know what I'm talking about, because I don't. But I do know how to fix it. Because um, I have Crater. He helped me. He told me one thing to do. So now I know what to do. So, distillery we, did, we didn't need to worry about. Elevator, we've done. Prison North. In Alex area. I'm talking about Alex. Who the fuck is Alex? Oh, Alexander. I was like, what? Collide with Alexander's area. So what's open here? The, oh, did I go past it already? I wasn't looking at the second ones. Oh, there's one. I saw it. I saw it. We have to close them all. Close the breaches. Did I fuck one up? Wait. Right. No. Not paying enough attention to the second one that's over. Yeah, we could. So many. <laughs> Who made this? This isn't Mikko's. This is from Fling Brennerberg. Oh wait, maybe it's copyrighted. Oh fuck. I'll finish these. <laughs> Begin bang it. <laughs> and bang it. <laughs> What's bang it? Who bangs their head? Oh, it's Andrew. It's Andrew. The guy banging his head on the wall. And then when you get close to him, he goes... <laughs> he's the naked guy in one of the cells. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to do. I'll keep you with me, I suppose. How are you doing today? Let me know. Like, genuinely, I, I really do care. Just kidding. No, I do care. I want to go through these, actually. Because I haven't actually looked at... um. 
HBS files before. So it's really interesting to see the sort of things that they name enemy uh, events as. Like banghead, enemy at end of large hallway, stuff like that. Yeah, there's not too many in this. Cross that off my little checklist. We've got one more. One fucking more and then we're done. What is it? Torture Nave. There is a flashback playing right a little longer. String, string, string. Come on and do the conga. String. Start with a random greeting. Hello. What did he break here, I wonder? Player interact lab door. There's a Labrador? Locked forever! <laughs> <laughs> this is really interesting. Security door? Oh, yeah. Any more? Did I miss one? Did I miss one? No. <laughs> if you've just skipped to this point in the video, just randomly, because people do that. Sometimes I do that. You have no context for this. Oh, uh, it's broken. But... <laughs> when player enters a map with all orbs, do some howling. I can fucking tell that Jens wrote this. I miss Jens. Fuck, I miss Jens. God, we look the same. <laughs> Soup time. We look really similar. Wait, can I, like, put my damage up majorly? Give player damage 5. Give player damage 5,000. <laughs> 50,000. Did I fix this one already? I guess I fixed this one, or it didn't change, because distillery loyalists rise up. Distillery didn't change. Oh, I ch oh no, I, I, I changed it and then unchanged it. Okay, let's uh, see if this works. I haven't quit the game yet, so I wonder if this change will happen now. If the game will recognize it or if I have to reload it. What do you think? I think I'm going to have to reload. The servants avoided him, yet he knew they were there. They all smelled of spiced wine, a mystic scent permeated by clove and sage. Oh, I've still got that, um, chili wine that we had for Easter when me and my friends met up. <laughs> had a little Easter egg hunt. It's on Nomad Community on Instagram. You can find it. There's a picture. I actually can't believe we didn't have to reload to make that work. Well, so concludes this part of the part. I'm going to keep playing even though it's close to one in the morning. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm really excited to keep playing. This has been really interesting, especially with the new changes and the new music. I haven't played Dark Descent with bunker music yet. So, it works surprisingly well. <laughs> anyway, bye.